Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout that I designed with some pretty little studio color, Me Happy. And I'm going to use this cut file here called Make Your Own, Your Own Rainbow. It's designed by Lacey Gasper and you can purchase it in her shop, uh, the digital file, or you can purchase it pre-cut from my shop. I will have both links down below for you. I'm just going to quickly flip through all of the pretty little studio color me happy collection that I have. I have a bunch of stickers and alphas and a bunch of die cuts. I have the eight by eight paper pad and also some of the journal cards. And I backed the cut file using papers from the eight by eight paper pack. And I'm just gonna flip through those real quick and then show you all the designs here on the back. But I've already gone ahead and backed the cut file and added foam adhesive behind the cut file. And I'm going to place it on this piece of white cardstock. Here are all the die cuts, and then I have quite a few of them. So this collection is super cute, super fun. It's really playful, and it can be used for so many different types of layouts. So I am documenting some photos of myself. Um, I took them from one of my creative weekends. I hold three creative weekends or crops a year. So this was my summer uh, weekend in 2021 and I was getting ready to head down to um, the crop room and I just took a quick selfie and it was a summer themed one I had a necklace on that had a rainbow so I thought this would be perfect to go with this collection so I um, have the file all backed and I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock as my base but I wanted to add a little bit of something in the background so I decided to go with some black splatters so I'm just taking some India ink that I picked up from Michael's and a thin paintbrush and just adding splatters all over the background. I just really love um, the black in this collection, so I thought some black splatters would look really good. And after finishing this layout, I think if I would have cut the cut file in black, I think it would have really made the colors in the collection pop even more, but I do love it the way that it turned out, but I think using some black cardstock to cut the cut file would have really, really stood out. So. I'm going to finish adding this splatter and then I'm going to get the cut file stuck down to the page and I end up tilting the cut file just a little bit so it's just it's not straight it's just tilted just a little bit and I just love the way that it turned out. <clears throat> just going back in with some more splatters and then once it all dries I'll get my cut file stuck down. I did add um, some thin foam adhesive to the back of that. And then I have these two photos here um, that I'm going to use. And they, they're they different, but they look very, very similar. They're both right in front of the mirror. Um, but I thought I was going to um, back them with some pattern papers, but I decided to pull out some frames that are inside of the die cut packs. I believe it's the merry-go-round and there's another one. I'll leave them listed down below that I use, but each die cut pack had a couple frames in there. So I'm going to use one frame from each pack. And I thought that would be um, really fun to do and add some more color to the layout. And they're two different size frames. One is more like a three by four and the other one is like a three by three size. So I'm just going to add some tape runner from scrapbook adhesive to the back of the frames and then get them stuck down to my photos. So I'm just trimming up the photo pieces that are kind of sticking over the edges of the frames. And then I'm gonna get these adhered down to my layout. The photo that is to the right, that's like the three by four size, I will adhere directly to the layout using this tape runner from Scrapbook Adhesives. And then the smaller photo, I'm actually gonna pop up on some foam adhesive. And then I will begin to embellish around the page. This layout came together really quickly. I love using a big title cut file like this. It takes up a lot of the page. It takes care of your title. It's a great way to add lots of color and patterns to your page. And it helps bring the page all together and come together quickly. So, um, oh, I forgot. I also did line the layout. I wanted to kind of frame the page since I was using a white background so I decided that I would go ahead and use a thin black pen and add some lines all around the page just to help frame out the layout. Um, 
I just like the way that that looks. So I'm just going to use this long ruler and this thin black pen and add these lines all along the edges of the page. And then I will start to get the embellishments going and embellish my layout. I'm going to pull out all of the die cuts that I have and all the stickers and the cut aparts and then embellish around the page. I will use die cuts and stickers and kind of just add some different clusters around the cut file. I like to add um, some of the elements like directly onto the cut file. Sometimes I like to add things kind of peeking out of the cut files as well. So I'm just going to go through and find some pieces that I want to use. I did um, set aside that little bumblebee at the on the page that you can see sitting there. I'm going to end up putting him on the cut file and um, pop him up over there on top of the word make. Tons of die cuts, really, really fun images, rainbows or some clouds, the sun, and then there's some critters like some bunnies, um, some unicorns. I think there's a fox in there. So I'm gonna create a little cluster up here in the right corner with the sun and some clouds and a rainbow. And then I have another one, clouds and some hearts, and I'll actually stick in one of the little critters there to the left down there by the word rainbow. This little panda face, I think it's a panda, um, inside the O of the word rainbow, and then this really cute owl I'll place next to my photo. I'll get all of these stuck down, and some of them I will adhere directly down to the page with wet adhesive, and then some of them I will use foam adhesive to give them some dimension. So I'm just going to work on getting these adhered down to the page. I will make sure to leave links down below to the Color Me Happy collection and then um, try to leave links to the products that I use, like the different die cut packs that I used and then the stickers that I used and then the cut aparts that I used as well. I did use these um, Color Me Happy word flags that are awesome. I always love to pick these up and then also the labels. They're my favorite, uh, but these are really fun to cut up and add to your pages as well. So I will leave all that leave all that link down below as well as the blog post that goes along with this layout. You can check that out on the Pretty Little Studio blog. I will also leave links to my different social medias. I've got my Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, Facebook, and I also have a Patreon group as well. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out and follow me there. I have this little cluster with the clouds and the sun. And then I'm going to add the rainbow up here at the top. I have that sun popped up on foam. And that black and white cloud is stuck directly to the page. And then this little rainbow here that I trimmed the clouds off of that one. And I'm going to get that stuck down as well. Make sure that you also head on over to the Pretty Little Studio Instagram and follow them. There is a new collection that will be coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. It is gorgeous and I can't wait for that one to come out. So I'm going to get this little word flag stuck up here on top of the A and it says dream big and it's right underneath that bumblebee that has popped up on some foam adhesive. I'm going to create a little heart embellishment. I take two of these heart stickers. Um, a larger one and then a small one and I'm going to staple the two of them together and then just nestle them in next to the little cluster that I have towards the bottom right. And I'm just using my little Heidi Swap stapler to get those stuck together and then I will nestle that in here above the clouds. Also going to take this little critter. He is super cute and I'm just going to kind of chop him in half and then um, nestle him in there as well. The last thing I do is take this sticker sheet and there is a really cute and fun banner that's colorful and fun and I'm just going to add it at the bottom of the page right under the word rainbow and get that stuck down and then I pull out some enamel dots for my stash just to add a little another pop of black to the layout and another texture and I'll just sprinkle those around the layout and that pretty much finishes it up. I hope you enjoyed this process video and this um, 
collection color me happy from pretty little studio make sure you head on over there and check out the full collection because there's a ton ton of fun products i will have some still shots for you guys at the end of this video and i will leave all the links down below for you guys so you guys can check everything out thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next video have a wonderful day bye